Let's talk about readmissions. A readmission occurs when a patient goes back into the hospital for the same or a similar condition within a prescribed period of time. Quality organizations such as the Joint Commission or Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have defined certain types of readmissions of particular interest. 30-day readmission for acute myocardial infarction, heart failure, and pneumonia are three of them. Low readmission rates are viewed as a sign of higher quality medical performance. This is because readmissions are often related to a problem inadequately resolved in a prior hospitalization or an unnecessary complication such as a hospital-acquired infection. They can also be the result of inadequate management of the patient condition after discharge, misunderstanding of the discharge instructions, or lack of patient access to appropriate services or medications. The Hospital Readmission Reduction Program, established in 2012 by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, penalizes hospitals with high readmission rates. Let's go to the dashboard. On top, there are four 12-month trend lines displayed for the three readmission rates included in the Hospital Readmission Reduction Program. Other rates can be added to accommodate your needs. There are slicers for facility, type of physician, and financial class. Beneath are two key performance indicator sections, one based on diagnosis and the other on location of treatment. Key performance indicators let you see how you're doing at a glance using traffic light colors. The indicators are drillable. For example, if you want to see how you're doing by individual diagnosis code, you can do so.